from all around the world especially Bangladesh my name is Afif uh, I don't know much about fragrances but I'm going to do a um, review of this beautiful perfume called Aoud Vanille from the house of Mansera and in coming days I'll also be reviewing uh, designer and also niche perfumes uh, which I have or which I have sample of so stay tuned Alright, so um, let's talk about the presentation. How does it come uh, and what it looks like? This comes in a golden box like this and it has um, made in France in the back and ingredients uh, at the back side and some information like batch code at the bottom, nothing in the top, nothing in the side as well. And there is a pouch inside which is holding the bottle of the perfume and the bottle looks like this, as you can see, very beautiful color. The color uh, reminds me of like vanilla essence, you know, dark brown and then the juice inside is not actually dark brown, it's like light yellowish. Anyway, so that's about the presentation and uh, let's pray, let's see how the opening smells. So, mm -hmm. beautiful projection I would say, quite good amount of juice came out. Uh, the opening is so good. It's like a um, nicest blend of saffron and uh, covered with a very rich deep vanilla and supported by a very smooth wood. And let me tell you, I'm not a big fan of wood. I really hate or dislike the rosewood combos that people are dying for. I, I Somehow I don't dig that. So this wood, I like it, it's not medicinal or animalic, whatever you can call it, it's not attacking much, it's like sitting in the back, watching how the other people operate, so it's supporting the other notes, yeah, like not most importantly vanilla, it's supporting the vanilla note. And what else I get from the opening is that there's a slight hint of cardamom. And um, we uh, Bangladeshi people, we uh, use cardamom in almost in every curry, so we know the smell of cardamom very distinctively. So I can tell that like there's a very slight hint of cardamom and saffron sitting in the back and pushing the vanilla and wood forward. Okay, so I have uh, on this hand I have um, the I sprayed it a couple of uh, 30 minutes early, so I have a bit dry down. And um, the dry down is um, kind of uh, woody, like I, I get a hint of woods, uh, like sandalwood and I don't know, but some other woody texture nuances going on as well as a little bit of florals. Yes, that's right. Some florals also in here. Mm. Uh, I believe the woody notes as well as the saffron and the wood and the vanilla makes such a beautiful aroma all together that um, you are simply going to love this one okay so if you're into vanilla based fragrances do check this one out and um, what I can tell you about performance this one performs bestial like you know this beast as you can see Eddie from Iron Maiden yeah this perfume performs like Eddie like monstrous performance really and um, projection is good. The silage, about the silage, what I can tell you, it doesn't have a very loud silage or projection. It has like one arm distance kind of silage, but it's very deep. And like if someone is in that proximity, they will smell you pretty well. But it's not good enough to fill out the whole room, you know what I mean? So that's about the silage. And like if you consider compliments, this is the only fragrance which got me compliments from my brother, from my wife, from my sister and from one of my friends who calls me Chacha which means uncle but he calls me Chacha anyway so I came to him, uh, I was walking by, walking by him and he says um, Chacha, I take this sauce which, which actually translates to what the hell are you wearing my brother so yeah, so he, he, he got mad and he, he really loved the smell so I said well this is a wood vanille, let me spray some so I was carrying a dick and I sprayed like four or five sprays on his body and he was like blown away so this is like one of those fragrances which is not offending the wood is not offending at all and what I can also tell you is that this one uh, on the scale of sweetness if I consider 10 to be the highest um, for me Baccarat is sitting at 8 you know like it's 
8 out of 10 sweet. And this one sits like a bit behind that. It's I think it's like I'd rate give it a 5.5 uh, in the scale of sweetness so for me it's not too sweet it's not too floral the floral notes are playing in the background the vanilla wood and wood they're the main pair here okay so if I consider a celebrity wearing it I think um, I think Freddie Mercury from Queen if he was alive I think this perfume would suit him very well okay so thanks for watching and um, leave a thumbs up if you like my videos and comment below which perfume from the house of menser should i try next should i review and um i really like that i'm finally on youtube and thank you guys for your support Bye bye